What is up guys? Welcome to another edition of Fat Media. In this video, we'll be talking about electric car batteries. So when you buy an electric car, what you're really buying is a battery on wheel. The obvious consideration would be what type of battery you're buying. Let's face it, you're not buying a $5 door cell battery for your TV remote. You're spending at least five figures for something that you will use for many years. So it's good to know what you're getting into. And with all these names, such as LFP, NCM, and NCA, it could get really confusing. In this video, we'll take a look at what type of batteries are popular in electric vehicles these days, and we'll discuss the advantage and disadvantage of each. So let's start with NCM batteries. This is the most common form of batteries found in EV today. Everything from Nissan Leaf, Ford F-150 lighting to Mercedes EQS. It consists of metal oxide of lithium, nickel, cobalt, and manganese. Now, before you get overwhelmed with all these chemicals, all you really need to know is nickels has very high energy density, which means it can store a lot of charges and allow for longer range. NCM batteries are also relatively lightweight and it is less sensitive to low temperatures, which means it can charge just as fast in cold weather. But nickels can also be very unstable. Thus, you need manganese and cobalt to improve the stability. Now, the big disadvantage of NCM batteries is the extractions of these chemicals, right? These are metals mostly come from politically unstable nations and the price can fluctuate dramatically. And the extraction process are not the most environmentally friendly. Next, we have NCE batteries, okay? These are very similar to NCM batteries. They are only used in Teslas, such as the preface lifted Model 3, Model S, and Model X. The difference is that NCE battery swap out the environmentally unsustainable manganese with aluminum, but it retains the same high energy density. And just like NCM batteries, it has relatively short life cycle compared to our next battery type. That's why in Tesla equipped with NCA, you will see it's recommended to charge to 80% in order to preserve its long-term health. Next, we have LFP battery, all right? This type of chemistry is emerging as a more low-cost, sustainable battery type. It's already very common in China and starting making inroads in North America. You can find it in base level of Model 3, Model Y, and Ford Mustang Mach-E. Compared to NCA and NCM batteries, these are less susceptible to thermal runaway. In other words, it's less likely to degrade in the presence of heat. But the biggest advantage is that it's a way more stable chemistry than nickel-based batteries. So it typically has life cycle two to four times longer. This means that you can charge it to 100% and not worry about any degradation. It's also much lower cost than nickel because it doesn't come from countries that American isn't friends with. So what's the catch? Well, it charges slower in the cold because it's not as power dense as nickels and has less range for the same battery size. That's why you only find it in short range version of Model 3 and Model Y. So after all this talking, which battery type should you get for your next electric vehicles? Well, there's no one size fits all answer. And you shouldn't really be picking a vehicle purely based on the battery chemistry. I mean, we're not in a chemistry class after all. But if range does not matter to you, then you're more likely to run into a vehicle with LFP battery. I don't mean a car is gonna run into you literally, okay? Because that's very dangerous. If performance and luxury matters more, then you're more likely to run into a vehicle with NCM or NCA batteries. Now, if you live in somewhere really cold, then a nickel-based battery is a much better pick than LFP because your charging speed is not affected by cold weather. But nickel-based battery, as we are discussed, are more unstable and although rare, are more likely to catch on fire. So if you want a battery that will last longer and be more stable, then go with the LFP. Hopefully this video will help you to understand the type of battery you're getting into when buying your next electric vehicle. Let's face it, it's probably gonna be the biggest battery you'll buy in your life so far. As always, this is Faco Media. Stay fabulous.